it going? Today I'm going to be changing the oil in my 2019 GMC Canyon. Now I have a couple of oil change videos for the 3.6 liter V6 already that you can find on my channel. Today's video is going to be focusing on something a little different. So I found this product, it's called a Stall Bus. It's an oil drain valve that um, makes it easier to drain your oil out when you have to change your oil. So I found this online, did a little research on it, and thought it was kind of cool, so I wanted to make a video out of it. So basically, you have this piece here, and there is a cap on the end here. So this will get threaded into the oil pan, and then this end has a ball valve in it. You can see down in there the ball valve, and this is just a cap that goes over that end, so that while you're driving the vehicle around, the crud gets in the ball valve end. And then when you're ready to change the oil, you take this other end that comes with it, and it fits into the ball valve end. We've got the ball valve end here. This end gets threaded into the oil drain pan. This end goes out, and this is the cap for that when you're driving around. There's a gasket on there, so it seals well, and this won't leak oil, because there's, like I said, the ball valve in there. And then you have this other end with a tube attached to it with this specialty fitting that goes in, and you basically just put it in and then do a quarter of a turn and it locks in there and it opens up that ball valve and then it drains the oil out. And you have this nice, you know, six, tw 12 inch tube where you can put it right down into a bottle or your drain pan or whatever and make a very easily drained oil without a mess. My biggest gripe when changing the oil on this truck is when I open up that drain bolt, that oil flies out of the pan at a nice arc and Nine times out of ten, I miss the drain pan on the first arc, and I end up with oil on the garage floor. So it's just kind of a pain. So I'm going to give this a shot and uh, see how it works. Basically, I want to be putting this on today with a fresh oil change, and then I'm not going to post this video until the next time I change the oil, and that's when I'll film the second half of this, you know, drain part. So, so like I said, this is called a Stahl bus. It's uh, German, made in Germany. Kind of neat. And uh, they do indicate a max torque of 15 foot-pounds for this end going into the pan on the vehicle. So you don't want to over-torque this. I guess uh, people have been known to break it, and then you uh, just wasted you know, your money on this thing. So it's kind of pricey. It was about $55. I got it on Amazon. I'll post a link to it in the description. You know, similar to like a Fomoto valve, uh, although this doesn't have the, the lever arm on it. But same, you know, overall concept. You're you're making your oil changes hassle-free, more or less. So, anyways, I'm gonna get underneath the truck, drain out this old oil, and then reinstall the new drain valve. All right, so I'm underneath the truck here, and I'm about to drain the oil with uh, my current drain plug, which is right there. I'm gonna let that drain for a minute. All right, so I got my new stall bus drain valve that I'm gonna thread in, and then I'm gonna tighten it up with my torque wrench. So I've got it just hand tight right now. I'm gonna switch over to my torque wrench and use my 19 millimeter socket to tighten it up. So there's 15 foot-pounds, it's not very much. Just gonna double check it here again. That's it. Then you take the little cap piece, thread it on by hand, and it's installed. I'm gonna fill this up with oil, check for leaks, you know, start the vehicle up and all that sort of good stuff. This is gonna be on the vehicle for a while until I come back and drain it, and that'll be part two of this video. All right, I got everything buttoned up and uh, oil's filled, filters changed, that thing's tightened up, there's no leaks. I'm gonna come back in about six months and change the oil, and it'll be like this for you guys.
All right, guys, so here we are six months later. The truck is ready for an oil change. You got my fitting here that I installed a long time ago. I've been checking it intermittently just to see if there's any leaks. Never had an issue. So I'm pretty satisfied that this thing is installed good. There's no leaks, and now it's time to change. So we'll see how it goes with the, the tube. So I'm just going to loosen up this little cap that comes with it. And it looks clean on the inside, no oil, anything dripping out of here. So that means the, the ball valve inside here held nice. Then I'm going to take the included other end of this kit. So once I insert this, there's going to just be like a quarter of a turn. And it'll seat and it'll open up that ball valve. And then the oil should start coming out. And this is about a foot long. You can cut it if you want. But I'm just going to leave it for the first time and see how it works. And the oil's starting to drain out, and I'm just going to let it go for a while. So I let this drain for a good long while, and it looks like it's done draining oil out of here. I can't see any left on there, so I'm just going to pop that off. Clean up this little fitting. Reinstall the cap. a nice hand type and now I'm satisfied with uh, draining the oil. Now all you have to do is fill up your oil, replace your filter, check your oil level and you're good to go down the road. And when you're done using this little tube you can install it over the twist fitting for storage so that it doesn't leak oil all over whatever you put it in. I'm still gonna put it inside a gallon size Ziploc bag so I can store it in my cabinet here with all my other oil change stuff. And while we're looking at this I emptied the oil out from my catch pan and measured it to make sure I'm actually getting the full amount of oil out of the engine. So this is a five quart jug that I just used to install new oil into the engine along with a one quart jug. I marked where a full five quart jug would be before you open the lid and it's right there. So I filled that up. That's five quarts. I've got five quarts of used oil here. And then this is a one quart which basically gets filled up right above this line to um, one quart. It's like 946 milliliters. So I put out uh, about 630, you can see the line right there, milliliters of oil. So that means I'm only about 300 or so milliliters shy of six full quarts. And in my opinion, 300 milliliters is not a lot of oil. It's probably a lot of it is in the filter, probably over half. So that means I'm left with 150 milliliters missing, which could be burned in the engine while running or still in the bottom of the pan or still in the bottom of my catch pin. So it's really an insignificant amount. I'm very confident that the stall bus gets all of the oil out because I read some people were concerned that it doesn't allow for a full oil drain on an engine, but I'm not concerned at all about that. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Love it if you subscribe. Stay tuned for new videos. See you next time. Later.